How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech and today we are going to take a quick look at the ASUS ROG Strix Go 2.4. Four. Now that 2.4 will probably give it away because this is a wireless gaming headset more focused for traveling or on the go use. So let's quickly open it up and see what we get. Now firstly um, I do not have an exact price for the headset yet. It is still not I think fully available so once that's out I'll, I'll leave links in the video description and everything. But firstly we do get a nice carry pouch with nice package here at this a pouch here behind. We're going to open it now but along with that you do have your 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter TRRS jacks which is awesome. Along with that you do have your USB-C 3.0 charging cable your manual in a, a warranty guide in a few different languages and then your manual over here which we might need to check out just to see some of the features so that is it for what's inside now let's quickly open up this one now again this is more for a traveling so this nice carry case is actually a quite a nice feature and as you guys can see it does fold up quite nicely into this but let's quickly take a look at this pouch first so we do have our detachable bendable mic right here which you just have a nice little pouch here that's actually quite nice but we do also have something here what's this so this is a nice inclusion this is a usb type c to usb 3 adapter which is a nice inclusion so i believe if you wanted to use it uh, on your laptop your pc if it doesn't have usb 3 or usb type c then you'll be able to use it like that uh, maybe through charging as well 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 we'll see but you do at least have the included cable again so we'll take a look at these a bit later because the microphone does actually have a feature uh, called uh, AI noise cancellation, which we're going to check out in the full review. But it apparently sounds really good, to, reduces a lot of the background noise. But now let's quickly take a look at the headset itself. But wait, just before that, let's take a look at this because this actually stands out quite a bit. So apparently this is the world's first USB-C 2.4 gigahertz wireless headset. Now I'm not sure if it's the first ever gaming wireless headset or just the first headset in general, but it is a USB type C wireless headset. So if you wanted to game on your Switch, that is one of the particular things that they're focusing on. Uh, you can, and that's actually quite cool. Now, unfortunately, don't have a switch on the cool enough but if, yeah there you go it's actually quite nice and small and if you do have a phone with usb type c as well then of course you can just plug this into it as well i think that's actually a nice inclusion now unfortunately you don't have a type c phone but if you plug it in it doesn't take up that much space anyway which is actually really cool as well which makes it a much better for traveling compared to a lot of the other large USB uh, uh, wireless adapters so that's actually a really nice feature but as for the headset itself so far I'm actually quite impressed the headset does it's it's quite a bit light I think it's around 290 grams but it doesn't feel that cheap usually how the lighter it is the, the more cheaper it feels this is actually not the case it does it is mostly plastic but it's not that cheap feeling a plastic and as for the bulk quality yeah check out that flex you can adjust the ear the ear cups as well and does have aluminum on the inside for the head frame and look at that that is a quite decent amount of a flex so yeah if you do have a massive watermelon sized head then it's going to be fine for you now the ear cups can swivel in and out and also tilt a, a bit so you do have all of the adjustments there 
And again, if you wanted to pack it away, that is where it's nice and handy, packing in a small area. So that's actually pretty cool. But now just before we try it out, you do have some controls here on the back of the ear cups. So firstly, on the right ear cup, you do have your USB type C charging port. I'm not sure if it'll work with uh, audio through as well, if it's only just for charging. I'll try it out in the full review and we'll see you there. But if it's only for charging, that's not a problem because you do have your uh, 3.5 millimeter jack over here, which again, we did include, they did include a 3.5 millimeter cable. So that is really nice. If you do run out of battery, there you go. Now, along with that, you do have your switcher that's able to switch between that 3.5 millimeter jack and then also the wireless mode. So you do have your options to switch between those. And then next up, you do have your play and a pause and a skip button here. If you just single press, it's gonna play or pause your audio. And if you double press it, it is going to skip your track. So just a, a nice little feature. Then finally, you do have your volume up and down a scroller here at the top. And then also if you do press it in, it is going to mute the microphone. Speaking about the microphone, again, we do have the detachable mic over here, which you can plug in here to the left ear cup also. So you do have that, but you can also just remove it. And then it does have a bolt in a mic just below the mic port over there. So you can actually use it without this mic, which is a really nice feature. You do have a both options. So if you want to go more low key and public without this thing next to your head, then this is a really nice feature. I honestly do really like that just to keep it a low key. So far, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. But now let's quickly try it on and see how it fits. And hopefully my hair isn't a total mess. Go there. <laughs> All right. Let's adjust it a bit. So again, you can adjust it quite a fair amount. And it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good. Now, I usually don't like smaller headsets where it sits on top of your ears. Uh, and this is a bit smaller, but for traveling, for a traveling headset, yeah, I could definitely live with that. It does uh, touch um, uh, my, the outside of my ears a bit, but luckily the cushions are extremely uh, soft. The padding, uh, it, it's not entirely that thick, but because it doesn't have that heavy of clamping force, it's actually not uh, bad. Now, you don't have any padding on the inside of the drivers, but I actually don't have a problem with my ears also scratching against the driver wall, which I usually have with some other headsets. This is actually not bad at all. I'm actually quite impressed. Now, of course, I will need to use it for a longer period of time uh, to see if it actually is as comfortable, uh, but I believe it will actually be but I'm definitely gonna try it out a bit more. But now let's take it for a test drive and listen to how it sounds. And that is actually where this little adapter that was included is gonna come in handy because I don't have any space on my laptop anymore for USB Type-C. It's currently being used. So let's try it out and see if this works. All right. <laughs> okay, so the battery is dead. I'll quickly have to charge it up because the cable is, is a bit short. It's not really meant for, <laughs> for charging while listening to it wirelessly. But now, while we're waiting for it to charge, Asus does say that it does have a battery life of 25 hours, which in real world, you'll probably get around 18 to 20-ish. Um, but that's honestly not bad at all. For a traveling headset, that's actually pretty good. You charge it once a day, 
you're, you're good to go. And then also if you don't have a lot of time, like kind of we have now, where it will take the battery only 15 minutes of charging to reach three hours of use. So that's honestly not bad. I'm not gonna sit here and listen to th listen to it for three hours. We're gonna give it around, yeah, 10 minutes or so, and then we're gonna try it out. All right, so it's been a few minutes, around 10 minutes. Let's unplug it and see if we get at least an hour or two out of that. Not quite a 15 minutes. So let's try it on and hear how it sounds. So again, we do just have a, a button here on the side. Press it once and there we go. So you guys will be able to hear if there's any sound bleed going on. The mic's just around there or here. So you'll be able to hear. We do have our volume scroll wheel. This is a max currently on my PC. There we go. Gonna take it down a tiny bit because it's, it's a decently loud. All right. All right, so it's a decently loud. I lowered it a tiny a bit, uh, but I will say that even though it does sound pretty good, the bass is a bit lacking in my honest opinion. Um, it, it's there, but you don't get that nice deep bass that you, you would like. Um, the highs are also pretty decent, but in my honest opinion, it's not the best sounding headset that, that I've used so far. Uh, it's gonna depend on the price. If the price tag is quite high, then it is going to be unfortunately a drawback for this headset. But if it's not too expensive, then I'm honestly not gonna care that much and I'm gonna give it a pass because it, the build quality is really good. It's very comfortable and then also it just looks awesome as well. So. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it sounds later on and how it feels if I do use it for a bit longer. So again, stay tuned for the full review. Check out the first link in the video description to uh, follow me on my main channel. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out a bit more and especially try out that mic with the AI noise cancellation. So that could actually be a nice feature if you uh, are planning to game with it and there's going to be a lot of noises around you if you're maybe in public, then that's going to be quite cool but i'm going to test out the audio a bit more playing some games some listening to some other music watching some movies and so on and then also just use it out in the real world and then i'm going to give you guys some more info on that and just my opinion on everything but yeah that's pretty much it for my quick first impressions of the asus rog strix go to point for i do like the name it's quite simple but yeah i do hope you guys enjoyed this quick little first impressions video if you guys did please like share subscribe and comment like always and i will check all of you guys the next time cheers guys